Hi, today we'll uh, like to show you how to replace the touch connector on the iPhone 6 um, which we actually took out of the other boat of course that was gonna go into the bin so I thought instead of throwing it in the bin keep it as a donor board and take things off it so I did actually apply uh, sorry ordered a new uh, touch connector but it turned out to be the LCD connector which uh, I ordered by mistake so uh, I decided to take it off from under the board instead okay so uh, the first thing you're gonna do is uh, just reflow all the joints so that it becomes easier for the uh, old solder to melt so at this point we don't have to worry about messing it up because uh, the touch connector is already broken so we are just gonna apply as much solder as we can so that um, it just melts it quickly Once we are done applying the solder as much as we want, uh, we are just going to apply some solder flux so that it lets the solder flow as much as we want. The solder flux make the solder easier to melt and flow. At this point you don't have to really care about the solder flux or the solder. You can apply as much as you want because um, at the end of the day once the job is done you can just uh, wipe it off. So once we've uh, put solder flux we are just gonna heat that uh, solder up so that it melts all the joints and we can just take the old broken connector right off. here we go it has started to come off and we're just gonna take it off yeah because of the heat it's kind of become mashed up now we are just gonna clean the pins and the connections where the new connector is gonna go to and just flat them flat them down
once the cleaning is done it's time to take the new connector off the donor board it can be complicated while you're taking the anything off the donor board so for me it was a, a bit of an easy job so what I just did is just applied some solar flux heat it up as much as I could and then push it uh, off the board from the what I thought to be the solid point of that connector Here we go it's already coming off so I'm just gonna push it in a side so that it's um, away from the pins so that it does not when I take off the heat gun it does not solder back on Simply just uh, put that new connector on the old PCB and apply some solder flux and start heating it till it actually adjusts, adjusts itself into place.
Here we go. It seems adjust enough. So just do your final checks and then let it be. Let it get cold. Then um, check it one more time through the microscope that the connections are connected properly. Voila, after the cleaning, I'm just gonna run my final checks and then uh, I'm gonna try that it works. Everything seemed fine.
after the assembling seems fine then it is coming on fine so once it turns on I'm just gonna check uh, if the touch works fine and if it does that means the job we've done has worked okay so there we go the touch is working perfectly fine just try you know try to use the screen as much as you can and everything seems fine okay it's time to sign out anyway uh, thank you for watching please like and subscribe